Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the third Fresnay equation. If we're given a curve, R of S, in arc length parameter, we can define our T hat, our unit tangent vector, T hat of S, which is dr ds. We can define our p hat of s, which is the derivative of t hat over the length of t hat. It's derivative. And we remember the denominator is called the curvature. So this is over here, this is the curvature vector divided by the length of the curvature vector. And this denominator over here is called the curvature of a curve, curvature. And we saw the curvature of a circle is the reciprocal of the radius, right? And so we note curvature is 1 over r for a circle of radius r. So that's one of our fundamental ideas, that curvature is associated to the reciprocal of the radius of a circle. Okay. Now, a curve, more generally, does not need to be a circle, but we'll see that what this reciprocal, what this curvature is, is the curvature, the reciprocal of the curvature is the radius of a circle that is tangent to the curve and basically hugs the curve or envelops the curve. So that's something we want to keep in the back of our mind. Now once we have the curvature vector, what we can do is we can note that t hat is perpendicular to p hat. And this allows us to define b hat of s, which is t hat of s cross p hat of s. And this is the unit binormal vector. So for a curve, like so, we can have a t hat, a unit tangent vector, tangent to the curve, a p hat, a normal. And then we can cross these and get another vector, b hat of s, the unit by normal vector. And so these t, p, and b form a frame. So and we can, of course, we can note that the length of b hat, it should be a unit vector, but let's check that, is the length of t, which is a unit vector, so 1, the length of p, 1, times the sine of the angle in between t and p, but the angle between them is 90 degrees since they're perpendicular, so this is all equal to 1, so indeed this is a unit vector. Now, what we can do is we call, we call t hat, p hat, and b hat, all functions of s. They're all functions of s, the fresnay array frame. the curve R of S. And we can note that T, P, and B satisfy the same rules as I, J, and K. So we have the cross product rules I, J, K. For example, I cross J is K, J cross K is I, K cross I is J. We have the same rules for T hat, P hat, and B hat. The same structure holds. And so what T, P, and B are is they're a copy of I, J, and K that moves along with the curve. So it preserves the orientation of the curve. Now, we can define one other quantity associated with this curve. We'll define the torsion of a curve R of S is tau. And what tau is, it's negative b hat of S, the unit binormal vector, dot the derivative of p hat of S. So this is the definition of torsion of a curve. And torsion is the measure of how much a curve wants to move out of a plane. So this measures how much a curve moves out of a plane. And one important, yet yeah, relatively easy thing to verify, is that if the curve is planar, so tau equals zero, the torsion is zero, if and only if the curve lies on a plane. In future videos, we'll see examples of how to compute torsion of a curve. And we'll see that the torsion of a curve is, in fact, a genuine measure of how much the curve wants to bend out of a plane. Thank you very much.